Hello everyone. Today's video is on Apex Locators, which is a must-have in the endodontic armamentarium. Let's have a look. Stop. Apex Locators can be of different kinds. They can be compact or they can be tabletop. The benefit of having a compact Apex Locator is the advantage of being easy to carry and uh, ideal for a first-time investor cost-wise. Let us see how to operate an Apex Locator. Here we have an Apex Locator, a tabletop Apex Locator. This is the start switch. The start switch shows you the display, the power. This indicates the volume, the brightness. The knobs here are to adjust the setting for the working length determination. This is to adjust the volume. The connections for the power charger and for the probe are given at the side. The battery over here. So let's see how to begin the usage of an apex locator. The probe adapter is attached to the apex locator after switching it on. Ensure that it is more than half charged. The lip clip is attached and the file holder is attached into their respective slots and now the apex locator is ready to use. I have switched on my apex locator. I ensure my LCD display is accurate. I make sure my battery power is more than 50% charged to avoid any inaccuracies in measurement. I connect my probe cord, the lip clip and the file holder and now I place the file inside the root canal. Why we place this? Ensure that you have a repeatable stop for accurate measurements. Ensure that the metal file does not touch a metal restoration or a crown during the process of working length determination. Attach the file holder to the metal file. Make sure the pulp chamber is dry. The canals can be lubricated but there should be no exchange of fluid between the canals. Also ensure that there is no flow of saliva from the external surface. And now we are ready to determine the working length. 